Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time since I made my last video, but from now on, I'm going to, I will try my best to be more consistent. So in this video, we are going to learn how to write text in a curve or in a wrap text form. So let's get started. So guys, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another slide here so that I have an empty space. Okay, don't worry and don't bother this background because it's just by default. I will also show you sometimes when you have designed how to remove this one. So we'll just quickly go here option and then go to slide master. And then you can see there's another picture here. Just click here, click here again and again. Same goes to all, then close the master view. Okay guys, so now we have a blank slide. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this uh, curve text. So go to insert option and go to text box and then just click over here. Now I'm going to write a sample text. Let's say how to curve. I'm going to write my first shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all by control and A and then I'm going to increase my size from here and then change to a font which I like the most like this and this is the text right now we have. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it into uppercase letters and now you can see that it's more visible. So for this, once you are done with this one, just click on the bold and now you have a different texture. Just change the color of the shape, go here and click over here. Now you have a simple text to change. Now, one thing that you can do simply is select this one, right click, and then you will have an option to format text effects. Once you go here in format text effects, you will, able, you will be able to do a lot of different things. For example, you want to add a solid line to your text. For example, this was your text. You cannot see simply what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all the font in the same color. I'm going to show you without the line. Notice that when I click on solid line, it will become more thicker. And when I will click on no line, it will become thinner. So adding a text line will increase its color and you can add a different color to this one. Let's say we, have, we will add white to this one and then you will see how it looks like. You can also double click here like this and then you have an option here shape option and text options click on text options and then you can simply increase the width of this shape and you can easily emphasize the outline of the curve now let's just quickly go back and say uh, no line to this one and then revert back to our original shape that we had white and a uh, little bit of golden color then once we are done with this one i'm going to select this one and go here Go in the text options and say no line. Now we don't have a line now. Select all of this and you can see an option here called shape format. Once you click on shape format, you have two options. One for shape, this shape, uh, settings for this shape. And the other options are for the text. Now you can see that there are different text options. You can change the color if you want. You can change different color that you want to choose. You can also add a text outline like I showed you previously. And then you have another option which is called text effect. Once you click on the text effect, you will have different options like shadow, add a shadow to a text, add a reflection to a text, add a glow to a text like this, add a B level to a text that, that will make your text a little bit more bolder and add a rotation to your text. Now, what I'm going to teach you this one is how to add or follow a path. Let's say we click on this one. It shows similar like a semicircle, uh, semicircle or full circle, whatever you want. So let's say we click on this one. Now you can see the shape is not that much in the curve. What you can do is you can simply drag this one and make it to a curve as much as you want. Now once you're done with this one, in order to make it in the center, you can just rotate it from the top. Notice this one is a uh, cursor. You can uh, use this icon and you can easily curve your text. Okay, now once you're done with this one, copy the same text and place this down. Now this time, click on this one, go to shape format, text effect, transform, and then choose another option. Now, what you can do is you can rotate it again and try to make sure it's like this. In order to make it work more simple, just for your reference, make us take a circle. But before that, I'm going to tell you one good trick. Go to insert option, shape option. And when you select a shape, if you want it to be uh, with equal uh, height and uh, weight, just press shift and then drag the icon. Now you will have equal shapes, uh, size from both left and right. Now let's just use this as a reference and now we are going to rotate it in a way that it looks uh, more uh, according to the shape that we want. Now we are going to uh, slightly alter and we will do it until uh, we have a shape that we are looking for. Okay, so 
So now once we have this one, we are going to reduce a little bit like this and then rotate it like this a little bit so that it's in the middle. And similarly, we are going to do the same thing for this one. Uh, like this one, sorry. Now hold this one and bring it down, make it like this and make it more like this so that it becomes more curved and a little bit more curved and then you will start to see the shape of the curve. So once you are done with this one, you can simply uh, do the same similar thing for this shape and you can easily make the thing that you want to do. Okay guys, so once you are done with this one, you can remove this one and now you have a curve to your shape. You can simply drag it down and increase. Uh, in this one shape, the text is a little bit different, the text is a little bit small, that's why it no, doesn't look like the one that you want, but it will definitely take you to the point where you need it. So, I hope you guys like this video and I uh, hope it helps you understand different things. And if you want to learn more about it, please leave your comments down below in the section below and I will quickly and as soon as possible get back to you with a possible solution. Till then, take care. Bye -bye.